Yeah, it was for the boys, yeah. Welcome to the round table. Before we start as usual, let's beat our guests. Yeah, why are you, like, sad? Stats. Klaus? Subway's having a buy one, get one free deal today. What? <laughs> they okay. are. Okay. It's, it's your boy cakes. Looch. No, it's true, they are. Okay, buy um, one, get one free. So, it's probably the biggest headline show. of the week has been... I've heard Your Patriots wise, but uh, the trade of Jimmy Garoppolo for a um, no, second round pick and the signing of Brian Hoyer for the Pats. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, I think it's good because it means we're rocking with Brady. And so, I mean, he's played so well for so many years that like, it doesn't even matter if he like does bad in the next couple because he's just the GOAT. Um, so I'm happy to see that. Goats right in and out. I mean, they trade him now because you gotta imagine Bill and uh, Robert, you know, thing beginning the season. You know, they must have been thinking in their head that uh, that clip was coming. Yeah. That cliff never came. Brady's better than ever. And they said, time to get Jimmy <coughs> yeah. G out of here. Ugh. Um, yeah. Probably could have got more off season, but again, it's that it's that factor of will Brady still be able to play the way he is, and obviously he's better than ever. So I heard that um, I thought they could have got more for Garoppolo. I heard in the off season that teams yeah, were more. like trying to trade first rounders for Garoppolo. That didn't happen. I mean, it's an early second round pick, but I don't know. I felt like some of the quarterbacks being taken in the first round are not nearly as talented as Garoppolo is. Could have got more, but I like how they're sticking with Brady for probably, I'd say like three or four more years. Yeah, uh, I thought it was a pretty good move. I don't think we needed Hoyer, though. Hoyer's pretty trash. Um, just rep that one QB spot with Brady. Oh, you can't do that. You can't rep one QB. <laughs> I mean, we could, but Brady's the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just can't yeah, rep one QB. Um, yeah, you have an emergency yeah. QB. Boyer's familiar with the system. Ooh. Edelman. Too bad he's dead. Nah, dude, he can Kobe. He can play. <laughs> All right. Well, um, don't we have a QB on the practice squad? No, no. probably. <laughs> no. I don't want a practice squad player at QB. <laughs> That'd be so cute. It was like the Jets in 1999. They had two quarterbacks, and they didn't list one of them as active, and so they had to put in their punter as the emergency quarterback. And he threw for two touchdowns. Yes. And like two Actually, we don't, want to, we don't want to be like the, the Browns. They're just using their practice squad. Well, um, we can get to more trades now. Um, I know Jai mm, no, got traded as well. Sammy Watkins got traded. No, then. No. Sammy Watkins, Calvin, Calvin Benjamin. Benjamin. He got traded. Sammy Watkins got traded. Sammy Watkins got traded in the offseason, right? Like, yeah. What, he went to L.A.? Yeah. Okay, well, Calvin Benjamin went from Carolina to Buffalo. Yes. Okay, so what do you guys, what do you guys thoughts on the trades? Happy my, the Eagles got JHI. I mean, we already have like Blunt and some other like dude who's pretty decent. The Blunt. But, I mean, we got him for like a fourth round draft pick, so like that's a steal. Yeah, that is an absolute steal. Yeah. JHI for a fourth round pick, like come on. Dolphins. Yeah, Dumbest football. franchise. What in the are you league. doing? Like, I, football. Almost as they, bad they as the Browns. They might be dumber than the Browns, no. honestly. I heard the Browns that. were trying to trade for the um, Andy AJ, Dalton's backup. AJ McCarron. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and they just they, didn't file the paperwork in the office, and the for, deal oh, fell oh, through. Yeah, I heard about that. Because like Which you're the Browns. Like, that's that's, that's pretty like dumb. Good, They're so dumb. Yeah. The Browns are such a bad franchise. Why are they still a franchise? The Jets. Can we kick them out of the NFL? They're just certain teams where. I don't know why NFL just hasn't gotten rid of them. <laughs> Real question. Do you think the best college team in the nation could beat the Browns? I think yes. Alabama Bama. could smoke the Browns. I know I've been hotly debated on this topic where people think I'm dead wrong. Because, like, oh, they're pro players. They've made it. No, no, no I'm with Alabama you. Alabama would smoke the Browns because <laughs> they're game. that <clears throat> bad. If, you've, if you're 1 in 27... I'm for really your last 27 games, there's no way you're beating <laughs> Alabama. Nick Saban. I'm not, Alabama. I'm really no. not sure, though. I don't know about that. All right, I want to see this thing happen. Then. Like, I Kaiser, Kaiser was what, like a second-round pick this year? Kaiser was trash. It doesn't matter. College. He was a second-round pick. I, under, I understand. By the Browns. I understand, like, they're pro players, but they're, they're such 
bottom of the rung just they're Stop. bad like they're 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 bottom rung they're they're bad i would take the six five-star recruits on offense and on defense and i would take those any day of the week against Maybe if you free took, agents in that. I would take the best college players. If you took all the best and made one team, I think they would beat the Browns. But I don't think Alabama would. I think players. Alabama would. I don't. I have no words. It'd Alabama. be a murder. I think it'd be a murder. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. It'd be, it would be a close game, but I would give it Alabama. Oh well, yeah, because the Browns. Well, you playing college choke. rules or NFL rules? That changes Ooh. the dynamics because no, college rules you need one foot. In. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, of course it does. One, one, and if you it's don't one foot down. Touch when you go down. different. That would. Oh, actually, mm. like she. Being, <laughs> I think NCAA football and like the good foot, NFL rules. Who do you give the event? Do you give it to the Browns so they have the help of knowing, or do you give it to Alabama just because you want to see the college team win? Alabama. I think you play college rules. I think you play college rules. Actually, no. I the think Browns you have take a young team too. So no, I would give it college rules, but I still don't think college team would win. I say you take the best of both worlds. You keep the one foot in bounds, but not down by just falling down. Yeah, you know, like when you get picked and dive and you All can't right. get back up. I think Alabama would OT so. stays NFL OT. I hate college OT. College OT is the dumbest thing ever. I, that makes no sense. Yeah, it's so confusing. What it, is it's, it? It's, it's like... You start on the 20-yard line. It's, it's, it's 20 or 30. You start on 20, I and you have four downs. And you, yeah, it's no, it's 20. Because you get first down, you get our four downs. And if you score, the other team has to go and match it. And then it just yeah. keeps going back and forth until someone doesn't match it. No, it gives you a chance to play. It's stupid, though. I find it stupid. Yeah, didn't no, actually, one game went into like six overtimes, right? That bad. Because if you if you win on a that. touchdown on your first play, then you can't match it with the offense. So. so that's your fault your defense sucks. Yeah, but it's not really fair if basically they well, won. See, that's why they, they won because of the coin cost, basically. No, well, life's not fair. Life gives you lemons, guy. Coin cost. <laughs> 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 hey, well, I mean, coin life said, isn't fair. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Well, yeah, NFL, there's a lot of stuff, but... Are you okay, Graham? Let's move you on right? to the... You seem really sad. Okay, yeah, Let's he, move he, on he to does. the World Series. You also um, look really wanna... pale today. Paler than normal. Pale, okay, I don't know. No, boy, it looks like you saw You are a little warm. Do you okay, feel okay? okay back up. Do we need show. to call the nurse? Okay, so let's move on to the World Series. It's probably one of the best Medic. World Series in recent memories. Most home runs after like Medic. Game 5 already. 7 oh. game series. Um, great Game 7. Springer took on the MVP. Oh deserved yeah, well deserved. Um, are you guys happy with the outcome? Who do you think was gonna win? Just talk about it. What do you think, Cakes? Um, thank you for distracting me, Max. Cameraman, thank you, Max. You're behind the camera. <laughs> um, I mean, I watched a bit of Game Seven. I watched most of the action take place. Uh, it was pretty, pretty exciting. Um, uh, I think it's an instant classic, like people are saying. Just with everything that's going on, Houston. And their problems with the city. Um, He's yeah. strong. <laughs> Bless you. I thought uh, great series is an instant classic, but classic. What I say, classic. <laughs> yeah. uh, not into it. It's an off um, day for us. It, it's an off day for us. Especially uh, it's no, in, instant classic, but the end. That game seven, I feel like, just kind of ruined the series because I. At that point, you knew the game was over by game third inning. Not necessarily. But here's no. the thing. I tell you this. No. So here's the thing. Exactly. I still... We did this? What? No, I said we talked about this. Oh. I still believe that if the Dodgers had started Kershaw, even if he was on short rest and only played two to three innings, I feel like... Yeah, if, if it had been 0-0. Zero, zero. It just it completely changes the dynamic of the game. Going against you, Darvish. Who sucks? He doesn't suck. He doesn't he was, suck. He got he's had a bad season. He's had, he's had a bad Kershaw. season. The on the, yeah. the, I, I understand. Short, I understand the short rest thing. But he when you have the best first. pitcher in the league, That's you have true. to give him a chance in Game Seven. Well, That's they're going to use so him out of the bullpen. They they want to see if no, nah, you have to go. start him in that. It just, it's, but the thing is, it's, it's the him, dynamic also, of the players. I also don't think it was just you, Darvish. I think like, like once there were like two runs. Um, he should have been gone. He should have been, been gone. Be- but then he stayed in well, until Springer hit that three-run homer. Once he, gave that, once he gave that double to Gonzalez, he it was he, over. You, yeah. you knew he was done mentally. O oh, two McCann. He walks him. Next batter, he gives him a double. There's no outs, men on second and third. Down by two Roberts, outs in the second inning. It was, Roberts it was let him go. Stupid. You have no, to no, take no one was even in the bullpen. He didn't even put anyone in the bullpen yet. And then 
And then he just... Red, Reddick comes up, he grounds out, no one scores. But then the pitcher comes up and he gets he, an RBI. And you can't... You, he gets an RBI. Here's the thing. Here's what... Here's, and they play the infield in. So, I, I understand bringing Kershaw out of the bullpen. I don't disagree with that move. But I just think mentally, I th- the players would have been behind... Kershaw more no, than put him in behind Dodgers. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I think There's that plans. I feel like the Dodgers Kershaw would have played not, better if Kershaw started that game. Well, I also just think Robert should have taken yeah. taken him out after that double. I don't think you Darvish should have pitched at all. I don't see. Here's the, I don't mind you Darvish coming in to get a couple outs in like a third inning, right? like to get yeah, out of the like that. I just think Roberts mismanaged that game completely. Yeah, extremely poor. The management was extremely I, poor. Like, I don't think it was all on you, Darvish. Though. Maybe a bigger, a bigger. They had, they had some so errors. many opportunities. They, they had so many opportunities on offense. That's they true. had like, Basically. they left like f- five men on in the they first were, two innings. Yeah. They were swinging for they the fences like with runners for on. Eight with runners in scoring exactly. position. Yeah. I, think, I think I think it was a bigger blunder than Farrell in the ALCS. Also getting ejected. Also, um, Cody Ballinger, like ridiculous oh. amount of strikeouts. But he's like I understand like growing growing pains for a rookie, but with him chasing every breaking ball, he, he knows that every pitch is coming in is going to be a breaking ball. Especially like, he has to know that, that bottom. Like, well, that, that's where he loves it. He yeah. loves it down and in, so he's going to be swinging at it. That's what he knows. Get him. He on knows kid, every pitch is going to be. I don't you know, know, on a young kid, when you see, but he you knows like, it's going to be a, in the same that, spot every it's time. It's not that he knows. He just looks so unconfident in his swing. When he swung, it would, it would he would like check it and then go through, and yeah. he just looked uncomfortable. It was he was hesitant. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was pressured. He was struggling. There was one at bat where he had one swing that was disgusting. Like he stopped midway through. I know, it's you weird. know what I'm talking yeah. about? He stopped like, like here and like went through, and his like foot came up, and he like went through. But his it, hands were like close to his body, and he was like. Disappointing game seven. I don't. I don't really care I didn't who think won. It was disappointing because no, I wanted the Strohs to, to win. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I understand why you game. think it was disappointing. It, I want. It, I wanted it, better entertainment. It you wanted it to be games. more. It, other, it did not live up to the hype. You wanted it to be the like other game games. five. Like you can't have another game five. That's I know. I understand one, that. That's yeah. once in a lifetime. But here's even if the game ended like a four three or something, I wanted it to be close throughout the entire game. When you know the game's ending by the third inning, that's just you like no. The things you did yeah. series. I, you, Good one, Max. Go, Max. Nice job. Get out. <laughs> Can we get a new camera, please? Yeah, Max. We need new crew. Some problems, but. I, like I said, Mike, I think Tara. with this series, like you can't say it was over until like, field. No, yeah, no, you can't say it's over. But the, like, but when you saw the players and their swings, yeah, they, they just well, after the Astros they, came back from three three run deficits in game five. All right, here's the question. Question, question. Do you think that AJ Hinch should have taken um what's his face the starting pitcher out McCullers, McCullers out sooner than he did and put like Verlander in the pen? McCullers because Verlander good. just pitched McCullers last McCullers is good. I, McCullers, McCullers and then he, well. I think he did well. He brought McCullers Morgan into well. the game. And he brought, and he I think started. he played well, but like starting off, he hit four batters. He, well, he took him out after he hit yeah. four batters. He's like, a little wild. I think he was a little he wild. He just, I don't think he had the command of his He's fastball. He's young, too. I mean, the, 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 yeah, these he, teams are full of young true, guys. That's, they're yeah. World Series. I think, McCullers is young. I think the main problem was the Dodgers, just by watching, they didn't look confident winning that game. They did not. Like, when we were watching the, that game five, Astros, it always looked like they knew they were coming back. Something with the Dodgers, you just knew That's it wasn't going to happen. Every time, you, you can tell, you, when you look at a team and you see them all sulking, you can tell. they, they them know That's why they needed to chip they away. They looked tired. They looked exhausted. It's kind of like the Cubs. When the Cubs play the Dodgers in the NLCS, and they looked beat. Like they, they were done. Like you could tell the Cubs had no chance to win that series. We watched that series. I think also, like, every time, like, the Strohs got a hit, like, and it went past, like, um, Seager at shortstop or diving, like, that that was just a momentum just killer. I also think a big killer in that series for the Dodgers was the way man, or, uh, Roberts managed the bullpen. He, he I feel did it. not do. He, With both of Rich Hill starts, he pulled them way too early. Yeah, yes, he did. That was a big mistake by him. Yeah, Only letting that. Morrow pitch for one batter, I think. Yeah, in that, that game was, seven. Morrow, Morrow was, was hot. He looked good at that at bat. But that that was his plan though. That's what he. That's, that was his plan. That was a dumb. Because you want to you want to bring in the starter at a fresh new inning. I no, I get that. But here's the thing: if you started a Kershaw, let him go two and two thirds to three innings. Yeah, three get, innings. Get that zero zero game. 
he's done. You get Morrow in there for a couple couple pitches. Or I mean, you could you get could, someone that's like a Rich Hill or a Dar Darvish. You Rich Hill Darvish. Pitch, you I don't Rich think Hill Rich Hill, Hill is as good as a pitcher as people make him out. Or like a or like yeah, a, he's a, a, a Maeda. A Maeda. No, nah, Rich Hill is like on and off. I don't he think he is as good as people make him out. I think he's better than Darvish. I think he's definitely better than Darvish. No, he's not. Darvish is better. I think. No, Darvish has no control over his. They had Kershaw, Hill, Darvish. Who started game two? Is it Maeda? No, Maeda's a backup. Um, Maeda's it was long some random. No, I yeah, thought you got it. Oh, no, not Brandon. Um, no, it was McCarthy. Was it McCarthy? Yeah, 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 it was McCarthy. Are you sure it was McCarthy? I'm pretty no. sure it was McCarthy. Does that mean? I think he's, he's old. I, I think, did you Darvish go game two? Yeah, it went. It went. went um, who, who, no, no. Um, he went game three. So did Hill go game two? Yeah, Hill was game two. Because that's when it was just an onslaught. Verlander pitched for the Strohs. We're getting weird on Dodgers' fourth starter. Um, I might have a whack article. I don't know, maybe. They definitely didn't do three pitchers. No, you have to Oh, it's because I clicked on a Detroit article. Are we should be quiet? All right. Mike talk. <laughs> well, I feel bad for Yasiel Puig because he came back from a World Dude, Series I'm, loss. I, I hear people complain about like Puig throwing his glove and his bat. That he's gonna have like a bad image on the kids. Like, come on, who cares? He throws his bat on the ground because he's pissed. Like, that's what you want. You want someone who cares. Yeah. I don't want someone who's walking to first base when they hit a grounder. I want someone to run it out and try and beat it. When you have someone who's that into the game, like Puig, like licks his bat when he strikes out. I think it was like, it was Hill. Rich Hill pitch game too. Yeah, but there's a. We're talking about their fourth starter. So it went Kershaw, Maeda. Hill, Darvish. I'm looking at, I'm looking at. I'm surprised that Maeda was on the Why look at game two for their Alex first Wood, Alex Wood, Alex Wood. Oh, oh, Alex Wood. He's good, yeah. He's a pretty solid. Didn't he yeah, lose, solid. though? Didn't he just get crushed? Yeah, I think crushed. anyone but Darvish should have started that game. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't think Rich Hill should have started Because Darvish also being a, a mid-season acquisition... Yeah, I feel I like that matters though. Not much but, baseball. I know, football. but still, I'd rather have someone who's been there than like that I trust. That's true. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, Darvish coming off Tommy John and some pretty if bad. They did seasons. have Maeda start that game? He was a long relief since the beginning. Yeah. No. Yeah, but he didn't start the playoffs. He, he wasn't have, in their playoff rotation. They have a solid rotation though. They do. The they really, they, they still rotation. Granky. That series is done. Uh, yeah. You can't afford. You can't afford. They're already like two sixty million. Yeah. I know. I know. I don't know if Darvish is worth it. But he's a free agent now. Yeah, so I don't think they're going to reach. Because he choked Sox. hard. Red Sox. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Dar I will not become a Red Sox fan if we sign you, Darvish. Dodgers with their midseason yeah, acquisition. They're interested in Hosmer. I heard. Yeah, no, I heard that too. That would be a good first sign. Base. Dodgers and Darvish didn't work out, but Houston and Verlander was a big win that for Houston. That was a great. huge win. Verlander came out of nowhere last year. Everyone thought he always washed up. Then all of a sudden last year. He it was great because Verlander last this year, year at this like yeah. for most of the season, he just had no control over his uh, pitches, and then he came to Houston and he just went well, like some like fourteen and one or something with like a one point nine six ERA. He's actually uh, he's skipping the parade to get married to Kate Upton this weekend in Italy. Oh, I heard what that. a savage! <laughs> okay, can't well, blame him. That World yeah. Series was good. No, I can't. think we're looking forward to ball coming back, but we got a while. We'll talk about free agents later. Go on. But um, next, hopefully get Hosmer. We hopefully get Hosmer. But we gotta move uh, on tomorrow. to the Celtics and um, their five game, six game winning streak. Excuse yeah. me. They have game tonight in OKC. I think at nine, big game. And if they do win this game, they'll be the first team to go on a seven game winning streak directly after losing their first two games of the season. You guys thoughts on the game tonight and the Celtics streak? Cakes. Uh, I give them about fifteen percent chance of winning. OKC is just nasty. Wait, can you I say that again? Like, I, 15, <laughs> yeah, 15 percent. Like, their shots aren't very good at beating them. Because OKC, OKC has a washed up Mello. They have no Mello who sits out, drills threes. Mello will just Westbrook put his hoodie on and paint. just like salt. I think the Thunder are good, but rocks. I think you're, I think you're overrating. You're, I think you're overrating. Them. Overrating them. Yeah. I don't think you're I'm looking at who we good. have as a Celtics team. We have Kyrie. Ankle breaker. You also have the Point Celtics, score. who are the number one defense. Yeah, in the, league right the Celtics right now. are the number one defense. I don't, I don't know who the trade OKC, I have in that defense. OKC I bench is terrible. The OKC, OKC bench is terrible. Name one good player on that bench. 
I... Cricket. Here's my little violin. All right. You still have a little depot or you get traded? No, you get traded for, um, for George. He's yeah. been good. All right, but he's see, here's the thing. Yeah, he's Westbrook good. did it by himself last year with a trash bench. Now that he's two other people. Yeah, yeah but they still have a... They have like Alex and Kyle Singler. Come on, guys. I don't know who they are. Steve Adams. Steve Adams. Sabonis. Ains Cantor. Now I traded him for... They traded Cantor. They traded Cantor. Yeah. It was also like right after Cantor said like... I feel like people are saying like a Thunder... Yeah, that's hilarious. I feel like people are underrating... We're underrating Cantor and Adams and all the people. I think... They were definitely good players. I think Adams is a little bit overrated. He's so good, but I think he's just... No, he's definitely good. It's just... Like, it's not a question. team that could ever win a championship. No, no. Guys Real like question. Bonus and all the or a conference championship. After they got out of I, I, I don't I, think they could. I got a real question. Because for here's like Ram. What happened to Birdman? Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> <No>. When probably <laughs> crash. NBA is all about the big three, right? You need that big three of superstars. They're all all, all stars. Can all take over a game and win. But the difference between a team like OKC and the Warriors is the Warriors have a bench that's like actually pretty deep of yeah. guys who you can put in and you're not scared of having them face another team start. Like Nick Young. Because the thing is, Omi Nick Caspi. Young, <laughs> like, Omi what? Caspi. Omi Caspi. <laughs> David West. Um, now you got McGee. Dude, David, David West isn't afraid of anything. Nick Young. <laughs> Iggy. It's all, like, I understand he was garbage back in the Lakers, but when he's comfortable playing for a team, when all he has to do is he's when he, all he has to do is just sit in that corner and just have his hands like because this. he fits that system well. Yeah, yeah. He that's the type of and player. And he has so and many that, good players they, around him to what, help him. They, they traded the Bulls traded their like first round pick to the Warriors for like a million dollars, and they got Jordan Bell, who's looking really good. Yeah. Like, he's like a seventy-seven and two K. Like what? Jordan, what yeah, Jordan Bell. Did you see that video of Jordan Bell throw his, um, uh, himself in alley oop? Seventy-seven and two K. Yeah. Bell is. Yeah. Dude, Jordan Bell's no. good. Birdman played on the Cavs last year. Cavaliers. Where's he now? Jail? Probably. He's not this. He's not playing this year. He's not on the Cavs last. No, he's not on the Cavs this year. In the 2016-2017 season, they had him listed on. Yeah, he's on. I just looked him up. Where's he traded? Where's uh? AK-47. Where is he? I remember he used to be baller. Andre Carroll. He used to be a baller, dude. That he's a loser. Hey, hey, shh. No, he's That's probably back in one. Russia. Pass it yeah. Okay. He's probably back yeah, pass in Russia. Pass it. Order, pass order. it. Order. Probably was in... Okay, so I think he's retired, Luch, but, um... AK-47. I don't know. AK-47 was... So, the so Celtics, Celtics are looking looking good, even without... I mean, it's, it's awful to think what they, what they could have done with Hayward, and now he's gone, but next year... Like, They're still playing times. well, though. They're going to come in so hot next year. I think win next if year. they win this game, it's a wake-up call for the NBA. Yeah. I think it, it's a wake-up call for the Cavs, who've lost, what, four or five? Right, five? right now, it's a wake-up call. Wake I think call. if Good. they... W- they lost to the Magic, the Nets, the Knicks, and the Pacers. Terrible teams. Dude, what? the Pacers are on. Pacers are good. Pacers are decent. Pacers are decent with Miles. They came out of nowhere. Okay, well... I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to look, look forward and see what the Celtics are doing. Um, hopefully they win tonight, make it seven in a row, make some history. That'd be good. But um, let's move on That's to some for. Uh, DS sports. Real quick. So, hometown sports. What? All the time you have. Yeah. yeah. Um, People blew through that time. Field hockey hosts their first, has their first playoff game today. Um, Jackie Malfoy between the pipes looking to stop Seekonk at home. Day, 3.30, C-conk? be there or be square, Seekonk. Um, cross Country yeah, like has, like has Coaches Individuals, Invitationals, C-conk. what is it called? Coaches Invitationals? Yeah, coaches coaches invitational Invitationals me. tomorrow and rent them, right? It's not a, it's not that big of a big deal. It's not a big deal, I guess don't go. It's like boom gang, gang or is it like, I'm saying like then, um, gang gang? The big sh- one is next week. Football, Holden Ferrari, Cakes Musgrave, everyone else on the team. Schlong. Going. No, Maddie's going to Minnesota. They are going no, to Brockton to play. Minnesota, cons- dude. Shoot, let me talk. They're going to their Constellation game in Brockton, playing. You ever touch me again, I'll sue you. Oh, shut up. Um, and then girls soccer <laughs> hosts Sandwich tomorrow at 4, and then boys soccer hosts Middleborough tomorrow at 6. If we get Big lucky, Lich. this might get hurt, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> so let's... let's <laughs> I hope I tear my ACL. Let's wish our team's luck. Sorry for Some Ben and Mike being annoying, and um, Peace we'll out. see you later. Sorry Peace. for Graham being ugly. Graham's just ah. so ugly. <laughs>